as the internet become increasingly ubiquitous, personal computers are widely used in people's daily lives for things such as social networking, online shopping, and entertainment. Meanwhile, their security has become more and more important. Malware is software designed to infiltrate or damage a computing system without the owner's informed consent. It has been used as a major weapon by cybercriminals to launch a wide range of security attacks, like stealing confidential information, hijacking computing devices remotely to deliver massive spam emails, and crippling critical infrastructures. If you become infected with a malware, it may steal your money from your online bank account, leak your personal information without your permission, push ads, or install unwanted software in your computer. Worse yet, you could be infected with ransomware, making your computer useless until you pay to have it unlocked. Ransomware infections have greatly increased in the past year. To protect yourself from being attacked by malware, the current defense is the use of security products which tend to rely on signature-based detection to recognize threats. Attackers can use techniques such as code obfuscation or repackaging to avoid such detection. The increasing sophistication of malware requires new defensive techniques that are harder to evade. Scorpion is a more resilient system that helps protect your computers against malware attacks and novel threats. In Scorpion, we extract the API calls from the import tables of the collected PE files. Windows API calls are used to access operating system functions and system resources. Therefore, the APIs can be used to represent the behaviors of PE files, just like we can use different kinds of behaviors to differentiate people. We not only extract the APIs but further analyze the relationships among them. We find that API calls which belong to the same DLL show similar intent. For example, APIs of write file and create filea in kernel 32.dll are related to file operations. API calls of set timer and set double click time in the user 32.dll are related to the execution of online game acceleration. In addition to the relation among APIs, we also analyze the relationships among PE files. Whether the files are replaced in the same archives, whether the files coexist in users' computing devices, whether the files are created by the same parent files. To represent such rich semantics of relationships, we introduce a structured heterogeneous information network, or HIN, to depict PE files, since HIN is able to handle different types of entities and relations. Relations between APIs and files, and different types among files can introduce higher level semantics and require more effort for attackers to evade detection. In this constructed HIN, we have four types of entities, PE files, API calls, DLLs and machines, and three types of relations. In this way, similarities over PE files can be defined by different metagraphs and a new network embedding approach is proposed to learn the low dimensional representation of files and then used for malware detection. This work is also supported by the US National Science Foundation, WV Higher Education Policy Commission Grant and WU Research and Scholarship Advancement Grant. If you are interested in further details, please check out our paper at KDD 2018.